Good evening, everybody. The Tumwa baseball team's bid to make it to the state tournament came up one game short as they lost to Valley. A Tumwa Stephen Wilson gets the strikeout. He only gave up four hits on the night. Bulldog catcher Brock Hopwood has a rifle for an arm. Bang, bang. The visitors scored a run in the first and the fourth inning. Here's the one in the fourth. A Tumwa comes up short. The final two to one. I'm very proud of these guys. They they went down to the bitter end. Um, you know, this game could have went either way for us. And, you know, they they gave us a chance. The Fairfield Centerfield game went into extra innings. It was a classic. Fairfield's Joe Hittipas had quite a game. He struck out 17 batters in nine innings of work. Fairfield won it in the ninth. Martin scores from third as the pickoff throw goes into left field. Fairfield wins it two to one. That's an incredible feeling. Four years ago when we started this run, uh, it, it was something that would never have been expected. And to be able to do it with a team like this is just, it's unbelievable. I can't even describe what it's like. Thanks, Coach. Fairfield will see action in the state tournament starting on Tuesday from Principal Park, and we will be there. In action from the state softball tournament, Oskaloosa finished fifth in the state softball tournament. They defeated Clear Creek Amana 3-1, to one, and they walloped West Des Moines, Delaware 7-2. to two. Tomorrow, EBF will play its biggest game of the year as they will take on Highland in the Class 2A state semifinal at 11 o'clock in the morning. EBF looked tanned, rested, and ready when they scored four runs in the first inning of their game yesterday. And they will use that confidence and swagger when they take on the top-seeded team in the tournament tomorrow. We're going to mentally prepare by saying it's softball. I mean, it's a definite momentum game. Anybody can win and just stay focused and do what we can do. And I'm sure we'll hopefully come out with the W. We don't know a whole lot about them. We've done some research, but we just got to go out there and play rocket softball. And if we do that, then we'll definitely win. Darius will be in Fort Dodge tomorrow. We will have highlights and reaction at 6 and 10. In Major League Baseball, the Cardinals lost to the Rays 3 0, while the Royals beat the White Sox 2 to 1. I'd like to thank everyone who came out to the media blood drive today. Someone asked me, to show Baltimore highlights. You know what? Here they are. This is action from last night. That's Jonathan Scope with a home run. Baltimore would go on to win it 4-2 over the Angels. The doors of the Kirksville Football Hall of Fame have opened up to the entire team from 1980 and three outstanding individuals from that squad. It's one of the great teams from the Jerry Meyer era. The, they went nine and one. They were ranked for a couple weeks uh, in in the state rankings. Uh, great offense, uh, punishing defense, and so uh, we're proud to to honor those people that that played on the fall of '80 team. And uh, that team, um, for the first time ever, had three all state first team players. And so we're also going to induct those three players: Mike Richardson. Barry Pockrant and Robert Rosenbaum, which were the uh, three first team All-State players, which was the first time in Kirksville history that we uh, had three first team All-Staters. Thanks, Doc. The Orange and Black Foundation needs your help, though. They need to locate the three former All-Staters. If you can get in contact with them, have them contact the Orange and Black Foundation.